this one thanks, wrong. Thanks. He, what is Lil Abner's first name? And Bryant confidently Seth says, Lil. Lil. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Abner. Abner. See there, and I didn't tell him you slipped on the ice down there. <laughs> and Dr. Art Uline is going to join us in uh, this half hour to begin a new series. Too many questions nobody could answer. So two of them get this idea. Why not some trivia questions that even an idiot can answer? So those two guys, not so dumb after all, invented a new game called Trivial Trivia Idiot Edition. And with us now, Greg Owens and Marty Wambacher. So what, you, the, you'd all sit around the print shop and lunchroom and seriously try to play Trivial Pursuit? Yeah, uh, people would bring the cards out and, they, and, they'd, and they'd read the questions to us and that. And they seemed so hard to most people that it got to be like a joke between the two of us. We, we thought about spiking the deck with these real simple questions. And from that idea, it grew into this project here. Like what, you, you picked out some of your favorites. I've got some of my favorites well, here, too. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and ask you one. Was Thomas Jefferson the founder of, of Jefferson Airplane? That's a tough one. Oh. I think I'm going to stump you on this one. Oh, what's the answer? Turn it over. No. No is the answer. <laughs> yeah, you got one too? Yeah, I've got one. Is the Kentucky Derby a hat or horse race? Ooh, <laughs> that's it. That's a killer. Now, some of these are tricky. Yeah. Some you know, like are. the little Abner one? Brian, Bri you listening? Okay. Where is the Land of Oz located? We've all been there. Careful now. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Then go ahead. I'm waiting for no, you. No, I know the answer. Nancy and I are sharing it. That's all right. Go ahead. Oh, right. Were you thinking somewhere over the rainbow? It's not bad. That's the answer. <laughs> sure, he was. <laughs> sure, we we'll play. When did Richard Nixon resign? That's gone over pr pretty big all over the country. A lot of people have liked that one. The answer? Not soon enough. See, but you know. <laughs> when does water boil? When it gets real hot. When it gets real <laughs> hot. Now, do, are you sensitive about errors? No, because there are a couple typos in that, but typo, it goes along with, with the idea of the error. game. What's I found that? a mistake. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're in what was Harry Truman's real name? And the Harry. answer you've got is Harold. His name was Harry. Well, Her Harold is Here the proper I've form. <laughs> I've embarrassed you right on, <laughs> yeah, I'm right on television. Out of the sun. Yeah. So how much money are you guys making off this? We haven't seen a penny no, yet. Not a penny yet. We keep putting it back <laughs> into production. You know, so we've got inventory. If we can sell it, maybe we'll make some money later. We, can, we keep printing them up to, you know, because people keep um, buying them from us in so the stores. So how many have you sold? We've sold over 25,000 now. So where's the money? It's back in the printing presses and, you know, in production costs. You've certainly had no shortage of publicity. No, it's no. been great so far. The, the uh, UPI wire picked up on it, and from that, it's just uh, gone haywire. Wally Phillips in yeah. WGN in Chicago, uh -huh. and here on the Today Show. Gene Conrad at home. Oh, He's, That's the guy that started it for us. But for all practical purposes, how, the, the, though the idea's been covered in the media nationwide, you really uh -huh. haven't even tapped your market outside Peoria and no, Chicago not at all. Yet. It's just mainly been in those two places where it's been selling. So we're going to wait and see what happens now. Maybe it'll all turn around for us. Hopefully we'll get a flood of phone calls and, you know, just it'll spread out. I'm thinking of the guys at the printing shop that won zillions of dollars in the New York lottery. Uh-huh. Yeah. This might not be quite as big as that, but... Maybe along the same lines, we hope. We'd love yeah. to see that. Well, that's a, a brilliant idea. I felt like a real fool because I said Lil Abner's first name was Lil, too. <laughs> a lot of people have, so don't feel bad. And here, we'll be back in a moment. First, a word from Nancy Foreman. Thank you, Jane. This is no trivia question.